What is up guys, it is that time of year we finally have LEGO Star Wars 2020 official set images for the Rise of Skywalker and a couple other sets, now these images are going to be from the Brick Fan website, link down below, make sure you guys go ahead and check them out, but we're going to dive right in here. First one's going to be Kylo Ren's shuttle microfighter set number 75264, notably it comes with that new Kylo Ren minifigure helmet that we saw in the actual bigger shuttle that we got in this past wave. I'm a huge fan of microfighters and I'm happy that they even put the really cool function of the wings kind of flying down in the microfighter version i think it's pretty sick i'm assuming this is going to be retailing for ten dollars like any other normal microfighter would but it's also going to be an easy way for you guys to go ahead and pick up that new kylo ren helmet which is great next one's going to be the t16 sky hopper versus the bantha microfighter set number seven five two six five now the two minifigures included in this set are of course going to be the t16 sky hopper pilot as well as a tuscan raider so again another way to get some more tuscan raiders and honestly a really good looking t16 sky hopper pilot that comes in like a red jumpsuit gotta be honest with you the bantha microfighter looks absolutely great i like it when lego does do the dual kind of microfighter pack so that's pretty cool awesome way to get some pretty cool minifigures and some really nicely done microfighters and it looks like the battle pack that we're going to be getting in this wave is a first order trooper battle pack set number 75266 it comes with one of the brand new sith troopers so that's great we're not going to be only limited to the exclusive sith trooper in the kylo ren shuttle set we're also going to be getting two of the newer i think these are the jet troopers in red which is pretty cool the white jet trooper comes in the Pasana Speeder Chase set, um, but this one's going to have them in red, and we're also going to be getting a brand new First Order Officer, who just looks different than usual. It looks like he has black attire, and then a red stripe going down and across his chest, so pretty, pretty cool, and then I think the vehicle is just going to be any normal sort of land speeder, but really cool battle pack. I'm definitely going to pick up a whole bunch of these. The next set is not going to be from the Rise of Skywalker. It's the Snow Speeder. It's just simply called Snow Speeder. Set number 75268 comes with two minifigures here. Going to have Wedge Antilles. Awesome to have and then another snow trooper it's also going to come with a little vignette of the satellite dish slash laser turret and an icicle what looks like to have a blaster in it now not too sure why lego is doing more of these uh original trilogy sets to be honest with you i would have much rather gotten something from fallen order or something like that but nonetheless it's a cool speeder looks a little smaller so i don't think it's minifigure scale but it is a junior set if i didn't mention that already and the next set which is one i'm very much looking forward to is the duel on mustafar set number seven five two six nine this was a set that we were talking about as a community for quite a while it's going to come of course with obi-wan and anakin skywalker and both the minifigures look absolutely gorgeous and it's actually kind of good because i need a good anakin for an axis so this is pretty cool now it looks like it's inspired a lot from the duel on star killer base in the sense that both the set itself can kind of have some really cool functions where it folds open and folds close on the back on the back right you guys can see we have that really cool iconic mustafar building that does eventually fall over it looks like both Obi-Wan and Anakin are on 360 spinnable plates to have some really cool details and of course the red bricks and black bricks all that stuff uh, to represent the lava which is super cool and the next set here is going to be Obi-Wan's hut set number 75270 it looks eerily similar to the cantina that we got maybe two waves ago I believe the minifigures included are Obi-Wan Kenobi in the older version of Obi-Wan Kenobi with Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, and another Tusken Raider. And then here we have it. We have the other Luke's land speeder, which I gotta say, it does look cool. It's probably the best one we've gotten so far, and the minifigure selection isn't awful. It comes with Luke Skywalker, and the minifigure itself comes with a really cool poncho cloth, which I guess is a plus. And then it comes with C-3PO and the Jawa, and a really cool vignette of just the mountain, or like a little cave dwelling. So, not necessarily the coolest, not necessarily the worst. I am basically just indifferent on the set getting back into the rise of skywalker mood we have the tie dagger set number 75272 i have no idea where this is coming from i'm assuming we're going to be seeing it at some point in the newer movie coming out later this year of course for the minifigures included we have the pilots we have another knight of ren and then finn in his new episode 9 attire which looks pretty cool i'm not a fan of the, the overall design of this ship i think it's kind of weird that the triangles are the wings and i don't know i guess it's kind of just one of those things we'll have to see although i do want to mention some pretty cool parts it comes with we see those black radio tower pieces and then a red dish which looks pretty cool so honestly it's probably going to be a pretty cool set and the last set in the wave is going to be the resistance x-wing this is going to be poe dameron's resistance x-wing set number 75273 as far as many figures go of course we have poe dameron we have a knight of ren r2d2 and one of the newer characters a little bit of a funky x-wing i think it's definitely cool i guess i don't know i just i'm just used to seeing so many x-wings before they've done a couple noticeable changes which i'll most likely just save for my should you buy on it but the orange and 
white is unique i'm not sure if i like it or not but it definitely offers something kind of cool um and different from what we're seeing which i can always appreciate so guys these have been the official set images for 2020 again we have rise of skywalker and original trilogy sets in this wave and prequel sets for that matter but unfortunately no jedi fallen order which i am very very sad about but hopefully we get those sets coming soon overall this wave's pretty cool i gotta say overall i think as we stand right now i'm a little bit more of a fan of the last one but i am very excited to get the battle pack and the dual on mustafar sets so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of course drop a like on the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already and i'll see y'all later take it easy peace